Me, hi Akon. Do you have time to speak with us please? Akon, I most certainly do. You understand that Ivo is on leave this week and you have time to speak to other beings in his place. I am humbled that you wish to speak to me with this frequency. Me, I am always after some good, practical messages to send on to people so they can learn the truth. People are at many levels of their development and are interested in many things. So Ivo's messages are helping people with their matrix-based earth conundrum, to move away from that. Astra gives me updates on the liberation of Earth primarily in Lightworker messages, and Archangel Michael so far has passed on messages of a more etheric nature. Then there's Adama who's interested in introducing the Telosians to us, Sharina and Zarian. I just kind of put them in different camps with different types of information. You're my science guy. Akon, I see. Me. So I was trying to think of something to channel and I thought about asking you about the physiology of humans and the galaxy, and then the subject of Earth being a living library came up last night in my third eye meditation, so maybe we can discuss both? Akon, as you wish. Both good subjects with much information to impart. Me, okay, so I'm going to ask the question on everybody's lips because I have the kahunas to ask it. Why are all of the extraterrestrial humans so good looking? And why do so many grow their hair long? Yours is short so is it just personal preference? On earth the natives say that long hair helps with telepathy, it's like an extension of the nervous system. Akon, telepathic ability does not just come from long hair. There are many factors which would increase one's telepathic ability. For one thing, your planet has had a shield around it. The veil of amnesia has been altered to disallow contact with your greater mind. In this higher mind, your consciousness, are the higher minds of all other beings in the universe, and with that you would have access to us. That is the biggest factor for telepathy, lack of interference. Another factor would be that you have worked with and practiced using your chakras, and that again, there are no interfering substances that would disallow contact, such as fluoride which calcifies your pineal gland. The destruction of this gland you can see in older peoples on your earth who, you, Sharon, get a strange feeling of disconnection from. You connect with others through their chakra system, and as these chakras are shut down in others, you feel cut off from them, or that they feel like a zombie to you, might be your common vernacular. Me, zombieism. Yes. Stagnation from living in the matrix. That makes sense, Akon. Akon, it does, indeed. The hair does help in people who are not totally telepathic. I prefer my hair short, that is simply a visible preference as is the case with all who choose it. Ivo prefers very long hair as do you. He does not feel it gets in the way of his activities, yet I do. My short hair obviously does not interfere with my telepathic ability as I am fully telepathic and do not need the antennae that long hair would give me. I am fine without it. As for why we are all so attractive. We breed ourselves in this fashion. We, as a telepathically linked species, have simply many of the same preferences and one preference is to be beautiful, by your standards. We simply accept our appearance as being our appearance. Also, when one is of high vibration it is natural to want to look good, to shine as you would say. You have found at times when you came out of depression, that you would style your hair or start to wear more makeup attempting to make yourself more attractive. It simply accompanies having a higher frequency. We are telepathically linked and we do have perhaps more generally accepted norms of living as a result but we do not see it as a disadvantage. We prefer harmonizing ourselves to the vibrations of others and in so doing, we may lose some of our individuality but we accept this for the advantage it provides us. Me, so will this happen to us on earth as we become more telepathic? Akon, no, we don't believe it will because your DNA is more diverse. You may be the one species of humanity that will continue to show a range of differences and a range of variations in ability, despite being telepathically linked. This will also make for some more growth opportunities because, as you know, your species is largely condemning of others who differ from themselves, and this was an intervention as well, to keep you from realizing your true selves. You have been manipulated into expecting conformity from each other. It was done for precisely that reason. We expect, though, 
that even without this interference, you would take longer to reach your pinnacle as there is more emotional work to be done to get you to that point. Because you are emotionally more diverse as well. Me, tell me about it. I remember a simpler life without problematic reactions. To suppress the richness of who we are as a subspecies of humanity in the galaxy. Akon, exactly. You are the most diverse subset of humanity that there is, simply because you hold so much of the DNA of so many species. Earthlings are a special group of humans with many more abilities than the rest of the humans in the galaxy. But in the same vein, it is also more difficult for you to achieve this greatness, there is more work involved to achieve it and to reach your pinnacle, especially with the negative interference that has predominated your world for the last 13,000 years. This is now beginning to change. Many on your earth have shown this richness, this diversity of mind, in negative ways and it is a question of now turning that around. Me, thank you for that, Akon. Akon, what we see for the earthlings, upon achieving their rightful vibration are gods that stand beside God himself. You were designed to be super beings, the best of everything all other humans in the galaxy embody. So close to God himself. However, you have had a long infancy and now it is abating. The light workers now have achieved the highest vibration of all who have walked on your planet. Me, even Jesus? The Buddha? Allah? Akon, on a par. Me, we can't walk on water yet, just thought I'd point that out. Akon, smiling, yes, and you smart woman, you make jokes that Jesus couldn't swim. You are amusing. You do not have the mind to use these skills. You have the vibration but vibration works with mind, which works with activated DNA, which works with intention, which works with unblocked chakras. You are gods in the rough, shall we say. Like your expression, a diamond in the rough. You are these now. Me, Cole. LOL. Akon, you see, you do understand some science. That of physical reaction. To put pressure or as we call it, increase gravity, on coal, it produces a diamond. Me, now I'm confused, how can Earth increase the gravitic pressure on herself? Akon, she does. Your gravity is inconsistent underground. On the contrary, the closer you move to center Earth, the higher the gravity. Me, so how does Adama survive down there? Akon, his mind. His mind can overcome gravity. My dear. That is how he can come to visit you in your apartment. Me, when I'm face planted in my couch, suffering from ascension symptoms. I knew he was there. There was a bunch of them. Akon, smiling, you are funny when you are miserable and I do not mean that in an offensive way, you have a sarcastic sense of humor that hides your anger. Me, from some. Now I'm figuring out I can get more out of you than Ivo. Akon. We are different people. We have different feelings about what we should tell you. Me, like parents. If one won't let you, the other one might. Akon, smiling, and so you adopt the role of child again? Me, when it comes to learning, I'm a big kid. Yes. Akon, so my student, shall we continue? Me, sure. Earth, the living library. I've heard of this concept before and now I'm being shown it. You commented in the video the other day about Earth being a diverse, so that would mean many specimens of plant and animal life could be put on this planet and maybe if someone wanted some of this for their planet, they could come and take some. Akon, you would be surprised what many species of vets have done with your animals. Me, there was the cattle mutilations and I'd still like to hang the ones who did that. Akon, yes experimentation on animals. They have done the same to you humans. Me, I know. This is a library, not a slaughterhouse. Akon, to the malevolent extraterrestrials, anything is fair game. They have no sense of ethics and no respect for life, as I mentioned in the last video, sun, stars and life in space. Me, so am I correct in assuming that when you activate a biosphere on a planet, when you do terraform, that you might need animals from Earth or elsewhere. Akon, yes, we can take them from a planet that has a similar ecology. As we create the new atmosphere of the planet and study its sun's properties, 
we can choose the types of life we feel are suitable to that ecology and find them on other planets. Me, that's neat. Akon, we are like Noah, of your biblical days. There are many correlations to your Bible and the work that we do. The animals will agree to come to a new planet and to perform their duties on that planet, it is all service. We must have volunteers. Some perhaps, do not wish to leave their planet. Some will agree to breeding upon the new planet and leaving their young behind to breed as they do not have a particular preference. For many animals types, of course, reject their young as they age. Some create family groups, some reject their young, and we respect their rights when we ask if they would like to help. Sometimes a male, such as a tiger, has no domain of his own because he is not the alpha so he is willing to leave the planet to be an alpha elsewhere. It is a learning experience for the animal, and part of his own growth. Me, that's pretty neat. Akon, so you then see the need for a central world in this quadrant of the universe, with a diverse range of species. As I said in the last video, your planet will accommodate a large range of life so it is convenient for us to come here. Me, what about all the information in our DNA? Akon, I hear all your questions. Yes information is light. You are light holders as you hold the information of many species within your DNA. You must be strong beings to be capable of this and you are, you were created that way. Other groups of vets, as you are now understanding, have strength in certain areas, some are great healers and hold that information in their DNA, some are great technologists and have that information in their DNA. Terrans, earthlings, are great in many areas. They can excel in many many things. They have strong DNA. We would not have allowed so many light workers to come to earth and undergo the ascension process in a weaker body. So, in time you will learn to read your DNA. You are doing this now in your third eye explorations, in fact, reading your own DNA because you hold your own history of all your physical lives, and you hold the DNA of the universe inside you as well. Yes. You can read the Akashic, the great records of God but much of the same information is inside of you. Me, what about the crystals? Akon, they can hold energy and can be used as energy transfer mechanisms. Your earth has already done this in antiquity. Akon, so are there any more questions? Me, not right now. Akon, so, again, I bid you adieu. Me, kiss kiss.